Welcome to the Midwest Regional Forensic Laboratory. I'm Lab Director Scott Ford. This week we're celebrating the 7th Annual National Forensic Science Week. In these videos, we're going to be showing you how evidence that's collected from crime scenes is processed in our nationally accredited forensic laboratory. The Midwest Regional Forensic Laboratory is a partnership between Anoka, Sherburn, and Wright counties, and we're housed inside of the Anoka County Sheriff's Office. At the Midwest Regional Forensic Laboratory, we have three main areas of testing, biology, drug chemistry, and latent prints. And during this week, we're gonna have videos that will have demonstrations of how evidence is handled and processed in all of those different areas of processing. So welcome to the Midwest Regional Forensic Laboratory. As authorities work hard to get illegal drugs off the streets in our communities, the drug chemistry section of the Midwest Regional Forensic Laboratory has seen an increase in requests for service from 2018 to 2019. Even with the increase of cases, the scientists at the lab have been able to produce a quick testing turnaround time of approximately 10 to 14 days. We will highlight a few of the tests that the drug chemistry scientists perform on a daily basis in order to assist detectives in building accurate cases. There is a large variety in the types and sizes of drugs brought into the lab for testing. At times, it is necessary to break substances into smaller fragments so that the proper tests can be administered for identification. Once the substance is at its optimal size, a preliminary color test is done by mixing a sample of the substance with different reagents in order to determine the reactions. Based on the colors that appear after the mixing, scientists can begin to suspect what type of substance it is. Another preliminary test is an ultraviolet visual spectrometer. UV light will pass through the substance and measure how it absorbs light at different wavelengths. Data from this test can then be compared to data from confirmed substances to obtain a preliminary result. One of the identification confirmatory tests that can be done is on the Foyer Transform Infrared Spectrometer. This device will shoot a laser through the substance and then measure the amount of light absorbed by the sample. Using predetermined algorithms, this machine will use the data to present a picture of information which again can be compared to known samples of drugs. A second identification confirmatory test is the gas chromatograph mass spectrometer. This machine runs two tests on a sample to produce results that can be analyzed. The first part of the test is the gas chromatograph, which heats up the sample until it turns into a gas. At that point, helium pushes the gas through a column, which will break down the substance into its components. Different components will push through the column at different speeds which is measured by the system. Once the sample has gone through the column, it then goes into the mass spectrometer, which further breaks down the components into the ions present. Data is extracted, and the scientist can compare the data from both tests in order to make an identification. While this is not a complete presentation of all of the tests offered by the drug chemistry section, we hope it provides a better understanding of the important work that these scientists do every day.